hearts just went everywhere. <laughs> okay, one more time for good luck. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you this very literal Valentine's look. I'm never really feeling the super girly pink hair up half down vibes. Yeah, just step out of my comfort zone for a little bit and I hope you guys like the look that I created for you. Without any further ado, let's just go right into the tutorial. Roll it! I'm going to be telling so you're probably wondering how I got to this point in my life and no big deal, I just lost all of the footage up until this point but I didn't do much, I just took the orange shade in the Moth Obsessions Huda Beauty palette and just created this halo eye shape you see here. Taking Makeup Geek's Faux Town and Corrupt and once again just deepening the inner corners and outer corners. Running it through the crease and connecting it. Going back in with that pearl blender brush. Using soft pressure. And just because that wasn't giving me the purple hue that I wanted, I'm going to be jumping into my Sugar Pill Pro palette and taking this purple shade. Now I'm taking my NYX shadow base in white and putting that right in the center just to make the lid color that we are about to use pop. And for my lid color, today I'll be using Pink Blossom from Makeup Addiction. Since we lost some of that purple from earlier, I'm just going back in and reinforcing that. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to jump into my Sugar Pill Pro Palette again and taking Love Plus. I'm going to be using that to bring back some of that red. Now just taking this very light shade from that Huda Beauty palette and a small pencil brush and with this just kind of reshape the eyeshadow and if you blend it up too high you can always bring it down. So what I'm going to do now is go off camera and duplicate what I just did on this eye but we'll be back to add more to this look because you thought we were done here. No, 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 no. I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Color Inks in white and pink. Okay. And now taking what I just mixed on an angled Makeup Addiction brush and just doing my liner with that. And now I'm going to be jumping into my BH Take Me to Brazil palette and picking up this pink shade. And I'm going to be using that eyeshadow to set the paint. I'm going to take my Ofra Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk? <laughs> Ofra Pillow Talk highlighter. It's from their new Valentine's collection and it's actually still in the packaging. I have to take it off. It's brand new. I've never used it before. I'm running that through my brow bone. The very highest part. 
I'm gonna take some of that paint that mixed earlier and there's no way for me to talk there's no way for me to actually talk through what I'm about to do so try your best to follow along And now that I have both eyes done, I'm going to go back into my Pillow Talk highlighter. And actually, I'm going to pop that right in the center of my lid. Because I just want that to really stand out. Now I'm just going to be putting on my lashes. And I have no idea which style these are. Fuck. I just got glue everywhere. I can't talk while I do this. Taking my NYX Black Liquid Liner to blend those lashes. Okay, so what just happened is I actually went off camera and took off that foundation that I was wearing. But I was actually wearing that foundation since probably 2 in the afternoon and it's now like 1 in the morning. Now I'm going in with my MAC Fix Plus. Ah, it smells so good. This is the lavender one. So fitting for this tutorial. Now taking my Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and just globbing on a thick layer, honey. She's had a rough day today. Frankie Rose Foundation, shade Vintage, Beauty Blender. Kevin D Concealer, shade Neutral, going right in those dark spots. And just to brighten that up a tad bit, I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in R20. MAC Patrick's Powder, just to set that. Get rid of damn creases, girl. Gonna run a bit of that powder through my cheeks. Now taking MAC's Water White Pressed Powder and Dark. So for blush, I'm going to take my Latte Abundance Blush Crush Blush, got that on the first try, um, in the shade Nick. A pink blush is just really going to tie the look together. I'm going blush crazy. Crazy, bro, crazy. Bro, like fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> I might keep that in the video. Ding, ding. Once again, I'm taking that Ofra Pillow Talk Highlighter. I'm just going in. Ofra did that. And now going in to finish my lower lash line, I'm going to take some black liner. This is Melt 1987 black liner. And running that through my waterline. Oh, that's always the hardest part. You know what? Oh, oh, you know what? 
There we go. I just put Makeup Geek's Corrupt Black Shadow on a pencil brush just to smudge this out. Don't want any fallout right now. Don't want to be putting on foundation for the third time today. Taking Sugar Pell's Hotsy Topsy eyeshadow and I'm going to use that shade to blend out that black a little bit. And I'm not being shy with this shadow at all, so... Highlighter, pencil brush, a little help from Fix Plus. And that was the final step and we're all done with eyes. So now lips. I have this trio from Ofra's Valentine's Collection. They're new, I believe. So here we have Santa Anna, Unzipped, and Mina. They're all such pretty shades. I don't know what I'm feeling more, but I think I'm leaning more towards Unzipped. No liner or anything, so girl, pray for me. Okay, here we go. And Too Faced actually sent me over this brand new Better Than Sex mascara, which I just took out of the packaging. And I may or may not be doing a giveaway with them, so... I don't know. Check my Instagram and find out. And with that, guys, we are done. This is the final look. I hope you liked it, and thank you so much for sticking on to the end. All the products I used, I linked up below once again, as well as all my coupon codes. If you're interested in any of the Ofra products that I use, you can use my code LUNA30 at checkout for some money off. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. It'll help me out so much. And if you're feeling frisky on this Valentine season, then you can leave a comment. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. My Instagram, LunaFortune, L-U-N-A-F-O-R-T-U-N. I think that's everything. So have a great Valentine's Day and bye!